All right, so we're checking out the uh, Vitalan V3 2.0. This one uh, came out originally, well, I think, two or three years ago. So it's got kind of this traditional folding e-bike style from that era. And they made some improvements in this new version 2.0. We're going to cover um, the features of this one. I don't really know exactly what's different um, in terms of what's been improved in the version 2 versus the original version because I didn't get a chance to review that one. Um, but anyway, uh, you can check out the product page if uh, there are any interesting specs that I may have overlooked. But this is a pretty traditional looking a 20 inch by four inch fat tire e-bike. And what's interesting about, the, I think the the way that these bikes are shipped from this company, it's pretty much fully assembled in the box. And the bike is just folded up and then they've detached the handlebar. All I have to do is uh, install that into the stem. And that's pretty much it in terms of assembly. You do have to put the pedals on, they do include tools for that. But um, if you're looking for an e-bike that's really easy to put together, this one is one of the easiest ones that I've seen. Uh, typically, uh, the way they come, you have to put the wheel on, the front wheel on, the front fender, the headlight, all that stuff um, does take quite a bit more time. This one will save you a lot of time in that regard. So uh, in terms of the specs here, we got a you know CST 20 by four inch fat tire, uh, puncture resistant. We have a Shimano Turney seven speed derailleur, pretty standard here. Uh, we got a rear rack again that was pre installed. This camera bag here just has my camera gear in it, just that's not included, but you can see it's easy to attach bags to the rear rack. Seat height is adjustable, handlebar height is adjustable. Um, as I said, the uh, fenders were pre installed from the factory, they're both plastic, no rattling noise. You have a Front fork suspension with a lockout and adjustment, front headlight, and then the handlebar does fold down right here with a safety lock. This one comes with mechanical disc brakes, 160 millimeter rotors in the front and also in the rear. There is a chain guard here at the bottom, so when the bike's folded up, it doesn't land on the chain. Uh, here is the charge port for the battery. The battery is removable. It's a 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. And they advertise a range of between 30 to 45 miles. So it kind of depends on your terrain that you're riding on, how much you're pedaling, etc. The motor in here is a 48 volt, uh, 750 watt nominal, 1200 watt burst motor. And I believe the top speed in this one is 28 miles per hour. So I believe it's technically a class three e-bike. The bike weight capacity in this one is 330 pounds, a little bit higher than your typical like 265, 270 pound weight rating. Um, not sure if, this, if the frame has more material in it or not. The construction seems pretty decent in terms of the welding. No real complaints. Uh, I think the, the wiring management of this one is pretty standard for bikes of this era. You have the uh, cables coming down here and then uh, being attached to the underside of the frame over here and the controller I believe is right over here. Here's a look at the handlebar, standard grips here. You've got turn signals with this switch here, which is nice on the, on the rear brake light. And the brake light does activate via the lever. Got a horn, pretty loud. Uh, here's your controller, headlights, information display. Uh, it's, uh, the screen is actually pretty bright. I can see it pretty easily but uh, it doesn't come up that well on camera. Uh, on off button here, and then your pedal assist levels, plus and minus. The, or, there are five levels of pedal assist on this one, so we'll do a speed test, of course, for each one of those. And then here is your SIS shifter, seven gears, and then a half twist throttle on the right side here. All right, so I think it covers all the bases here. Let's go ahead and do the ride test and the speed test, and I'll give you my thoughts as I'm riding along. Okay, let's we'll start off in pedal assist level one. And motor kicks in pretty much right away. Getting up to speed here about 7.8, 7.9 miles per hour. All right, let's go to level two.
Now we're hitting about 9.7, 9.8, about 9.8 in level two. Let's go level three. All right, got big boost of speed here. We're up to 14, 14.3. Okay, we're running out of space here. Let's turn around. All right. See how if we can get past 14 on level three. 14.4, 14.5. All right, so about, okay, 14.8 now, 14.9, 14.8. So that's about the max on level three. Oh, oh, we hit 15 there for a second. It's kind of drifting around a little bit. All right, let's uh, turn around here and go to level four. All right, here we go, level four. A lot more speed now. 17, 18. 18.9, 19. 19 miles an hour at level four. Oh, 19.2. It's kind of around that 19 mile an hour mark on level four. All right, let's try level five here. All right, let's go to level five. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24 point, all right, it's a little bit over 24 miles an hour, looks like, is the max on this one. So I thought it was a little bit higher, 28, but it looks like, 20, or it looks like uh, 24 is the max, a little over 24. So let's go back to level one. And we'll just do throttle only. Okay, so this one uh, does not give you full power on throttle. It, it matches what is on pedal system. So we're at seven and a half. We're actually slowing down, actually six point something here. Not a lot of speed in pedal assist level one using the throttle. We're pretty slow here going four, four miles an hour. Let's go to level two. So pedal assist uh, level one when pedaling was faster when pedaling. It's slower when on throttle. Level two, 9.2, 9.3. I wonder if that was the same or, or, or less when pedaling. All right, turn around here, let's do a level three, throttle only. Fourteen point eight, topping out at fourteen point seven, fourteen point eight on level three. Okay, let's try level four throttle only. Eighteen, nineteen, nineteen point five. All right, topping out at about nineteen point five. On level four on throttle only. All right, let's turn around again. All right, going to level five, throttle only. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. 23.6, 23.7. All right, so it's topped out about 23.7. A little bit less than on pedal assist. So it seems like there's a little bit of extra energy being provided by pedaling, although I was kind of freewheeling when I was uh, pedaling at, at, on level five at that speed. So basically, it's about 24 miles an hour on both pedal assist and on throttle only. Okay, so what's there to say about this bike? Um, not that much, honestly. It's pretty, you know, from this era, from a couple years ago, a lot of models that look like this and feels about the same. We've got that front fork suspension. There's no rear suspension in this one, no seat, seat post suspension. So, you know, uh, the ride and handling is about what you can expect from a 20 by four inch fat tire. 
the seat's pretty standard um, firm. Not uncomfortable, but uh, it's probably something that I wouldn't want to ride on for many, many hours. I might want to uh, opt for a, a third party seat on this one if I'm going to be riding it for longer periods of time, but it's not, it doesn't hurt or anything. It's just that it's a pretty standard seat that comes with a lot of e bikes. Um, it could be better, uh, just something, you know, nothing really to write home about. The speed acceleration on this motor is pretty standard at 750 watts. Uh, it's about what to expect. The bike in itself does feel like it's pretty solid. There's no creaks or anything like that, nothing rattling. I think that lends it to the fact that it's pretty much fully assembled from the factory, so they've probably done all the Q&A, or you know, in terms of the QC stuff, to make sure that it is properly working from the factory. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's safe for the range as well, is pretty standard, 30 to 45 miles. It really kind of depends on uh, the terrain. Uh, if you're in a hilly, hilly terrain, you're gonna get less, less range. If you're uh, you know, mostly flat and maybe pedaling a lot, you're gonna get more range. Anyway, I think the thing that stands out for me is the fact that the bike pretty much comes fully assembled from the factory and very easy to put together. I think that's the thing that stands out the most to me. So if you're looking for an e-bike that uh, is easy to put together, this one is definitely one to check out. Anyway, that's gonna cover for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know. Talk to you guys in the next one.